previously on Survivor. Welcome to Survivor CU Maiden Voyage! Woo! 14 college students embarked on the first season of Survivor CNU, and after a grueling first challenge, Red Terror came out triumphant. What does it say? Red Terror! Hey. After the challenge, John, Lewis, and Georgia made an agreement not to vote for each other. They were like, hey, can we kind of agree not to vote for each other? But before Tribal Council, John, Carson, Adam, and Emily formed an alliance and decided to vote Lewis out of the tribe. 13 remain. Who will be voted out? Tonight. didn't know quite what to expect going into our first tribal council last night, but it was a lot more intense than I thought it was going to be. Um, definitely an outcome that I wouldn't have predicted a few days before, but by the time we got there I was pretty sure I knew what would happen. Uh, so actually we're passing the whispering wall now, it's right over there somewhere, and uh, I'm just having flashbacks. <laughs> wow, it was intense. It was intense. All right, so basically, when we were at dinner after the first challenge, Emily Wilda, who's on the other tribe, was sitting with us. I actually, so after the first challenge, we went to eat dinner, and I was with my friend Jimmy, who's on the other tribe, and none of the other, no, nobody in Azteca was in comments that I could see, so I ended up eating with the other tribe, and I think they forgot maybe that I was sitting on the outskirts. So I heard that um, some of you on there was friends with Lewis before Survivor. You know, we were chatting, all that stuff, and Lewis got brought up, and I know Lewis kind of well from outside of this thing. And I was like, oh yeah, I may have mentioned that he told me that he really just wants to be like the personality of the show. He's like, I want to start drama, blah, 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 blah. And then so Emily Wilder heard that, and I guess she went and told Carson, who lives on the same hall as me and Emily Wilder. So later, Carson comes to me, and I was like, okay, so like, who y'all gonna vote out? And he was like, we're gonna vote out Lewis, because he was like, Emily told me that Lewis wants to start drama, and I don't know why he would say that to her, blah, blah, and I was sitting there like, oh my gosh, I'm definitely the one that told her that. So I don't know if it's directly because of me, but I think I'm the one who started that, and I feel kind of bad now. I found out at dinner, apparently, um, Madison, or Amanda told Madison that she found a hidden immunity idol during the competition. Like, she was looking for them while we were running from place to place. So, we were running, um, we were running from Senior Hall to Radcliffe, and she, like, Josie rounds the corner, like, past Forbes, and we were falling behind or whatever, because I don't run. While we were running to Radcliffe, Amanda, like, pulled me to the side. It was like, hey, dude, I found an idol. <laughs> and I was like, what do you mean you found an idol? Like, we're, we're ten minutes into the season. How did you find it? And she was like, we passed it on the way to Radcliffe. And I was like, okay, cool. And she goes, I want you to have it. I said, okay. And, like, I didn't question it at all or anything. And then... So we go back, we're running from Potomac back to, what was it, Freeman that we were yeah. And so we passed a tree by force, and she was like, it's in that tree. She was like, okay. So she makes me go look in the tree, and there's just a pile of leaves. So that kind of sketched me out, and it kind of pissed me off because it slowed me down. And obviously it was the first challenge, I kind of wanted to like prove myself in a way, to like show people that like I deserve to be there. And yeah, it just 
just kind of like upset me. Is she actually lying? Well, I don't know if she was lying or if she like actually thought she saw something. And also, she told me that she wanted me to have it because she knew that if we lost the challenge, she would be the first person voted off. Then why? But like that doesn't add up to me. Like, why wouldn't you want it if you knew? Like, we don't. I don't know why she thought she'd get voted out. Like, we don't even know each other well. How? I don't know. Like, she seemed really nice. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have just automatically gone for voting her out. And now I'm like, well, what the heck? Like, if you're already only looking out for yourself, like, I get it. It's an individual game, but we're still a tribe. And if we can win as a tribe and keep winning, then we're all safe. And now, like, looking back on it, I'm like, why would she want me to have it if she knew that she was gonna be the first person voted out? So, like, I don't know what her thinking was behind that. <laughs> I guess I just didn't realize it'd be getting that intense that fast. Like, I thought I saw an idol because there's, like, a... I, when I was running the first time, I saw something white out of the corner of my eye. Like, it was all, like, black. And then, like, when I was walking to, to like, when I was going to the next side, I looked over and it was a plastic. It was just a like, soda cap. It was like, that's not an idol. <laughs> oh, well. And so I just kept going. So that was, that was pretty much my idol search. But that was it. Like, I would like to think that she's super nice and, like, not lying to me, but also, I don't know, like, I guess things just don't add up the more I think about it, you know? So she may or may not have it, I mean, yet, you know? Alright, right, Terry, can you throw something in the last second? Try and lose. Any reactions? <laughs> <laughs> Because Josie's not here, you don't have to send anyone out for this challenge. In this challenge, one person will be the caller, while the other five will be blindfolded and have to find uh, six bags. Once you retrieve the six bags, we'll come over here and we'll be here to the table. That'll be, that'll be uh, right there, that'll be a stack up. You will have to open the bags and solve three, a set of three tantrum puzzles. Only two people can be on the puzzle at one time, just like last time. I'll uh, give you a few minutes to try to guys, we'll get started. <laughs> I thought about putting the video on the like, oh, no. no. The caller for Red Terror is Jimmy. Pairs are Madison and Amanda, and Alexis and Shane. Harry's on his own. The caller for Azteca is Carson. The pairs are Emily and Gwen, John and Georgia. Adam is on his own. <laughs> the survivor's ready. Yeah, Adam. Ready start, Jimmy, yeah. say something. I'm ready. Go! Oh. Okay. Wait, Harry, no. stop where you're at. Rotate like 45 degrees to the right. Good. Walk forward. Give me, give me some direction. Keep going forward. You guys are good. Both of you. Stop. Keep going. You stop. 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 Rotate 90 degrees to the right. Amanda, walk. Look on your left. Emily, Gwen, right? Amanda, like, there you go. Go straight. Hold up both pieces. Okay. Okay. Keep walking a little bit more. Keep walking. Go right. 90 degrees. 90 degrees. There you go. Go straight. Hey, hop. 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 There you go. Alright, now come here, follow my voice, follow my voice, follow my voice, follow my voice. <laughs> <laughs> you guys okay, I will, I will, I will. Alright, y'all here. Good, good, good. Okay. Okay, alright. You got it? Okay, John, Georgia, y'all are good. Y'all are good. Hang out. Just hang out. Wait, don't take off the blindfold. Don't take off the blindfold. Okay. Oh, man. 
Okay, he does it good. Adam, follow my boy. Okay, I'm blindfolded. Right. 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 Let's go, let's go. Coming back. Yeah. There you go, there you go. There you go. Good. 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 Let's go, let's go. 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 Let's go, Carson! Alright, Adam, you're about to have to watch out, man. That's a bush! Adam, follow my boys. Be careful. Be careful. Come on, come on, come on. Can I run in a straight line? Oh, shit. We're good, we're good, we're good. It hit my shoulder. We're good, it hit my shoulder. We're good, we're good. Okay, I see. Um, wait, hold on. Yeah, I'm I'm people in. People in. Okay, yeah, so... Amanda and Jimmy are in the puzzle. That's yeah. not the corner of the other one. Wait, who is that? Uh, it's me. Okay. Amanda and Jimmy. Do you, do you have... Do you Pick have up your blindfolds again. Blindfolds up, come on, go! Alright, two people. I'm Emily and George are the puzzle. Use all the pieces for both. Use all the pieces for both parts. We're working on two different. Yeah, we need to agree on that. Yeah. Okay. Hammer. Oh, there we go. No. No. Wait. No. I think those small two triangles go on the other. Go on the ends. The two. Small two in the middle. Go on the ends. Like these. No, they go, they go on the... Go together, it's 100 to the right. Go together, it's 100 to the right. Go together, it's 100 to the right. Do you keep all these? All these. Yeah. Is that the size? Yeah. Alright, completely new team. Adam and Adam. Go check it. Check it. Check it. Check it. Check it. Cover them, stand right there. Watch them, watch them. But Tara's first, first yeah. puzzle done. Yeah. Put your yeah. down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, 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 yeah, I thought I could. I feel like that's close. It's close, coming out to the wire. Check! No, it's not. No, that's the first time. No, that's not right. You had it the first time. It's not for you. Yeah, but this is this one, though. Anyone's game still? Let's go. Try Okay, so. When they share something. Don't give up, Red Terror. Check, 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 Well learned. Right. No child comes for you guys. It saves this week. As for you, Red Terror, got a day with me at Whispering Wall, Travel Council. I'll see you then. Got nothing for you. Head out. After the challenge, uh, the second challenge, when I was walking back, I had to go to the library. Shane was going to the library and Jimmy was walking with us. Um, Jimmy has like a plan. He knows what he wants to do. So he's like, we let him do all the talking. So at the moment, the plan is hopefully to kind of sit back and let Jimmy take the fall for this one. I think he's, he's playing really hard. So I'm hoping that he'll just like, like he's doing what, I mean, I'm, I'm okay with it. My name's not there. So hopefully I'll just like, 
lay back and mm. let him figure that out. I, think, I know the thing that bothered a lot of people, or not a lot, but at least the people I talked to, was the fact that um, Amanda was in the puzzle thing the whole time, being a leader, but like, didn't actually, they, at least, and this is to quote uh, Shane and them, like, she never actually has solved any of the puzzles. Like, she was in there the whole time for the first puzzle and the second puzzle, and neither time did she solve them. And like, I kind of see that point of view. Uh, I'm kind of rolling with it because it seems like that's what the majority feels and I'm not gonna shake stuff up mm -hmm. because I don't 100% see it. Cause I, like she did help, it just, she didn't solve it. Um, but that like, I think that's, that, well that's like, that's a reason the vote might go the way it goes. I'm hoping it does. I'm hoping it doesn't turn out to be me. I felt like yeah. I did pretty well with the part that I was in charge of. So it was definitely like one-sided. He, I think he had his mindset where he wanted to vote Madison out to begin with, and then I think Alexis and I both like talked him out of it a little bit, just to say like, you know, who's like, who's like physically and also can add more to like our our, our um, tribe as a whole. And I think once he realized like Amanda was in on the puzzle like the entire time and like it like they were taking forever and didn't get solved, like I think he realized like she really isn't as strong at puzzles as maybe she came out off to be. Because like I definitely like would love to keep her and Madison both, but it's just like it's just tough because I feel like we do need to keep the tribe as strong as possible. And I, and I don't want to say like Amanda's the weakest link, but like for what we really need, like I think we need physical strength at this point, not just intellectual, because I think the other tribe is a lot stronger. This is a pretty low risk vote, because assuming that everyone just sticks with that idea, mm -hmm. then even if she finds out, oh, you know, they're voting for me, there's not much she can do. So like right after we left, um, the challenge, Harry and Madison and I walked to work. We found ourselves, of course. But we were talking about like who we wanted to vote off. So what are you guys thinking? <laughs> I'm thinking we do either Alexis or Josie. Josie wasn't there. And, and if then, we're being nope. real, Alexis isn't too strong. Yeah. So yeah. we don't really need to keep her around. But yeah, and it would be a little bit unfair to Josie. Yeah, because yeah. she wasn't there. And like we were like, we don't think Josie should get voted off because she wasn't there. We don't know what she contributes. And then we were talking about like how Madison brought up the fact that they do vote if they don't vote Josie, they're gonna vote either her or I out because we are the slowest when it comes to running. I don't know. A part of me is leaning towards just getting Josie out. That way we're not having to worry about her schedule. At the same time, I feel like Alexa I mean on top of that. Alexis what does has she more. Bring to the yeah, table? we didn't really get to know her, and then Alexis has more. I think faults going on right now. But then I countered back with, "Well, Alexis, she's injured. She kept telling us in the last challenge she's severely injured. Her like ankle's swollen, and then she's having hip problems, and that she wasn't technically supposed to run the first challenge. So we were just like, so I brought that up, and I was like, and she hasn't really." fully contributed like she's just been in the middle ground but she's also making a lot of alliances okay so basically we need to decide on somebody right now yeah. and then try to get at least yeah, one, so more one more vote mm -hmm. yeah because maybe two i don't know that shane will want to vote alexis off yeah they're definitely really bonded together i think yeah we might be able to get josie yeah yeah get josie to flip yeah also alexis is that that's an that's a duo right there yeah alexis and shane they're kind of Bonded, all right. So yeah. they're bonded. Yeah. So if we get rid of them, that takes out a one, a, a duo, a power duo. Yeah. Well, Josie went like I sat down. We went. We met at Einstein's, and I just told her a recap of what happened. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, so I heard we lost. Yeah, we lost. But so your name's on the block. <laughs> It's chocolate really? lot because you I weren't think, there. Yeah, I, I know. That That's why I wanted like to meet with you. Yeah, because oh um, <laughs> Madison, Harry, and I are like, we shouldn't eliminate her just because she was there. That's not fair. Uh -huh. And we were thinking about eliminating Alexis. And then I told her that she's most likely the next the, uh, Alexis, Shane, and Jimmy's target. Like, because she wasn't there. So I put like a ceiling of doubt. So who was talking about? 
who's like it's you, Madison? Me, Madison, and Harry are gonna vote for Alexis. Okay. Because she's also we also thinking the long haul. Hello. She hasn't oh, done much. Thank you. <laughs> she hasn't done much in terms of like she's like in the middle. Right, but yeah, yeah. but we're looking at the long haul. If we go to merge, she's more likely to make one line since I'm on the other team. Okay. She, so and she's saying, in a duo. The other the, other the other the other side. Like Jimmy, Jimmy, Shane, and and oh Alexis. My God. Because it's okay. down. Because, oh. You know. Oh God. <laughs> okay. So I made an alliance with Shane and Alexis, and like. That was all good. Like we're meeting up later tonight to like talk about stuff. And I like felt strongly about it. And she said my name had been like thrown around, which like I was kind of expecting that because I was the only one not at the challenge. So like it just kind of stinks. It's like it's like oh, it's just like scheduling stuff. Um, but but so I was like expecting it. And then she was like, but me, Madison, and Harry don't like. We don't think that you should be like the one going just because like you weren't there. Cause like, I know like you have like potential like to do more and stuff. So she was saying that like, they are going to vote out Alexis. So now I'm like, I don't know what to do because like I was going into like the meeting with Amanda being like, I kind of think like from our, from the vibes of like, the last like the conversations we've had so far like I thought Amanda was like like is probably gonna be the one to go but then when she told me that I'm like like <laughs> like she wants me to vote out one of my alliance members but like I asked her like oh so who who was saying like my name and she said like everyone else and so I was like like Jimmy, Shane, and Alexis, and she was like, "Yeah." Do, do, do you know if like Alexis, Shane, and Jimmy said they want? No, I don't. Oh, sorry. You were... uh, yeah. Okay. But like, it, it was kind of obvious mm -hmm. because like they had talked. They were like, "Oh, we like they had started walking away, and they were talking about Josie." So like, it kind of made sense that they might be talking about her. So if we play it, because okay. you technically you're the, the swing vote. Technically, right now. Oh, because it's three against me. Yeah. Yeah, like I'm not gonna vote for yourself, myself. yourself, but like. Oh, shoot. Okay. Yeah. So like, I don't know if I should get Alexis before she gets me, or if she like. Part of me just thinks that, like they just said, like they just threw out my name because, like I was the only one not there. So like they're not gonna be like, oh yeah, Amanda, like you're going home, <laughs> like you know. So I feel like part of me is like. Like, feels good about my alliance still. But then the other part is like, I don't know if I should vote out Amanda. I mean, not Amanda, Alexis. So was there any like talk after about like what? Cause I'm like, oh gosh. <laughs> I was the only one like yeah, not there. No, it's... Not, we would have had to set someone out anyways. Not that it would have been you, but like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't be worried about you not being there. Um, the talk of Jimmy had big ideas. I mean, I don't know what the others, because Harry and Maddie and Amanda, they went different ways. So I don't know if they talked at all. But Jimmy, Shane, and I we were walking like towards York, towards the library, mm. and Jimmy was just talking the entire time. So honestly, I think best bet is to go with Jimmy's plan and let Jimmy take the fall for it. I think they both like. I think we were all on like the same game plan like same page where like we we all kind of feel like like I, I think I've kind of been the one proposing why Jimmy's like a, a bigger threat he's kind of like my like person I want to get out because I think like he just would he would beat me in the end if I made it like far enough to see a flip on me um but I think like they're like on board with that like because like if we lose again which I think there's a chance we're gonna lose again um, before the merge, like that's probably who I'll be trying to vote for, unless it, like he does really well in the challenge and like we really need him. Um, yeah, I think like they're, I think they're all, I think both both of them are on the same game plan with getting um, Amanda out right now. I was kind of like thinking like 
we probably should like I think like the three of us should like work together like in general but like, yeah. I think we should like bring in like a fourth just like oh yeah just like have that majority you know what I'm saying like yeah it's like after this vote, especially after this vote because yeah. we don't want to split three and three yeah yeah it's like you and we don't want to make too obvious that it's like three of us right yeah so like I I think like my thought process like originally was like Madison mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. I think like Harry like for me, I'm not really sure where he's like at. Like, right. I don't, I don't really know like what his thought, what his mindset is. Uh -huh. so he seems like somebody who kind of can flip and flop and go different ways. Um, I, I don't personally think Jimmy would be the smartest person to work with. Oh right, but I'm okay to work with I him don't know for this that well. Yeah. yeah. He's he's intense. And, really? He's, <laughs> in yeah. That's what I get. Like he seems like he's taking this really, really seriously, seriously and like playing really hard and I was like oh my gosh not I ready. think I, I personally feel like he's the biggest threat on our tribe so if we are gonna loot Madison in I think we should do it where one of us creates a group meeting and it's like hey I don't know if y'all are up for it because I don't think we want her to think that we're already here and yeah, then, then looping her in. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so we need to make it sound like we're not already together and we'll just be like hey like I know this is kind of random or like a little out of the blue but I think we, the like, four of us should work together, I think we should get this person out. Like, we should just, because it's a good pretense to create and be like, hey, I know Tribal's tomorrow night, um, and I haven't gotten a chance to talk to any of you individually, but I think that we should work together to vote, and then, or like, to vote someone out, and then we'll, like, naturally bring up, oh, of the three other people, who should we vote out, and then make it right. proceed to a panda. Okay. So yeah. that she thinks she wasn't like left out because we don't want to like create a total poll. Okay, so are we making a group? I'll meeting? start it now. Okay, so okay. <laughs> I'll do the same. What well, should I name it? I can't have. We can't name it the same thing. Um, <laughs> Tribal Alliance. <laughs> question mark. <laughs> 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 two question marks. No. You could just be like Alliance question mark or like uh, for ref or, Oh yeah. Okay. I, I named our previous group chat Survivor Alliance question mark because I didn't know if we were in alliance yet. <laughs> okay, hey, this is Lexus from Red Terror. I know we haven't all talked a whole bunch, but I feel like I click really well with y'all. I was hoping you guys might be interested in making an alliance question mark. This is kind of really forward and I did a little laughing emoji, <laughs> but tribal is tomorrow, so I thought it'd be cool if we could work together and figure something out. I like that. All right, we're done with it. <laughs> <laughs> so she said, are y'all free to meet up and talk some time before the tribe? Um, yeah. Okay, do, like, I don't know. Alright, this might be a lot. I don't know how free you guys are for the next, like, 20 minutes, but we could say, do you have time right now? We could all meet in the DSU on the top floor, and we could all go walk somewhere and walk back. Do you want to say I'm grabbing... Okay, so do you want to say I'm grabbing food from Regattas right now? Can you guys meet me on the second floor of the DSU yeah. right now? And I'll be like, yeah, man. <laughs> I'm grabbing. Food. I actually was gonna get dinner anyway. Hopefully she can. <laughs> if she can, we can just be like, oh, we can. She just said she's on her way. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay. All right. So what are we thinking? I don't know. You're the one who's gotta put this. You're right. Together. Okay. I. Okay. So. I guess, like, I'm honestly cool with whoever, as long as, like, it's not any of the four of us. Like, I don't know, I feel like I connected pretty well with you guys, like, <laughs> even just when we were, like, hanging out in your room and just, like, at the competitions, like, it seemed like you guys were really cool. Um, I guess, like, if I were looking, I think we should try and, like, keep our team decently strong for now. Mm -hmm. And I feel like all of us are pretty well-rounded, like, have different skills. Um, but, like, I'm not going to lie, like, Amanda was giving me, like, weird vibes. Like, I'm a little worried about, about her. her. Yeah. I feel like they were almost, like, hyping up how well we got along. I don't know, because Alexis said that, like, we really clicked, and yeah, we were, like, nice to each other and everything, but I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm just kind of, like, sketched out a little bit. <laughs> By like everything. <laughs> I'm just very wary, I guess. And she was in the puzzle the entire time, but it didn't feel like she was solving anything. Uh-huh. Like and there like, was the you... one part where we were working on two different puzzles. Yeah, whereas you like every time, so you weren't in it the entire time, but like when you weren't in it, like you were solving things and it felt like you were really good at puzzles and I felt mm -hmm. like you should have been the one in the puzzle more often. <laughs> I don't know, that's kind of where my head's at. Yeah. Okay. But I and haven't like... Thing... 
about the idol. Yeah. Yeah. That that threw true. me for a loop with her. Yeah, that kind of sketched me out a little bit. So you guys are cool to ride Amanda down? Yeah. I'm down for that. Okay. Doesn't matter to me. Sweet. <laughs> like, I feel like we're not far enough in the game where like it, it's really that big of a deal. Yeah, you you're know? right. That's yeah. right. I feel like she's gonna see it coming. Oh shoot! Because she did tell me when she said that she found the idol that she knew she was gonna be the first one found out. So did she find it? No. Like does she have it? Because she told me she wanted me to have it. Oh. Which didn't make sense. Right. right. I don't. I don't know her thinking behind that. Okay. So, okay. So if she doesn't have the idol, is it a bad thing if she sees it coming? I so, okay, I have personally, I haven't talked to her, mm -hmm. she seemed to trust you, mm -hmm. could you propose something to her? I guess, yeah, in terms of like keeping her in the loop, if you just want to figure out, I guess, where her head's at, mm -hmm. be like, hey, I haven't talked to anyone, or hey, I don't really know what's going on, do you have any ideas, I'm open to suggestions, but like, that's the thing, you don't want to be the one to throw a name out, because yeah. you don't want it to tie back to you. But what if she throws out, like, one of y'all's name? Then you say, yep. Like, and okay, with it. go for it. Alright. Wait, I'm gonna look up cool names that have four. There's a fantastic four. Ooh. If you like superheroes. Oh. Love them. Or the... The quad squad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. The quad squad. I'm kind of here for the quad squad. Okay. Sure. Want to be the quad squad? Hey, yeah. Okay. All right. We're good. The quad right. squad. <laughs> Catch you tomorrow at Tribal. <laughs> okay, so we've got some decisions to make. I honestly, like, I thought that, like, like I didn't even, like, see you and Amanda as working together at all. Yeah. So when she, because she messaged me last night, like, hey, do you want to meet up and talk? So I was like, sure. I met up with her and she was like, so your name like was brought up, mm -hmm. like to be on, like people are trying to vote you out. And so I was like, ah, like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, what? Like, cause I just, I felt cool with everyone. So mm -hmm. I was like, that's it, like, I just, what? And then like, she was saying like, you, um, Harry and her mm -hmm. were like, like tight, yeah. Mm -hmm. so that Amanda um, met up with Josie today and um, told Josie that other people were like throwing her name out there and like trying to vote her off to like get her on board. I didn't tell Josie that it was Amanda who threw her name out though because I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> I'm stressed out. <laughs> If we take out Alexis, then then the young would probably want to take out Amanda after her, and then like then I wouldn't be the second person voted out, <laughs> you know. Uh -huh. But I don't know, like because Amanda does kind of sketch me out with the whole idol thing. Yeah. Like I, so. after that, I'm just like not sure because I feel like she's really smart. Mm -hmm. So I'm just not sure like oh like is she just like good at like strategically like. Mm -hmm. Like the strategy of the game. I mean, like it makes so much sense to like work with Alexis okay. and Jake. But like, also, I feel like Amanda mm -hmm. and Harry are easy targets, and would be easy to take out, like closer to the merge. Me and Josie just talked, and now she wants to vote out Amanda. But I feel like Amanda's loyal to me. But if I vote out Alexis, then then like I'm screwed, and people are gonna know that like I voted for Alexis, you know. I don't know what to do. I'm stressed out. <laughs> I also feel like if we kept her around, like she would be loyal to me. And the entire reason that I was like open to voting out Alexis was because if she goes, then I think that Amanda will go next, and then I would probably go. Like it would just keep me here like a little bit longer. So I don't know. <laughs> Like, it makes so much sense to vote out Amanda because, like, she's a little bit sketchy. As nice as she is, like, she just has done some sketchy things. I would like to say that I trust, like, Alexis and Shane and Josie the most. Just because it all, like, makes sense, you know? And we do get along nicely. I guess whatever decision I make is gonna 
instead of like it being better for the alliance i guess i'm thinking more of like what's gonna get me further along in the game like thinking like towards the merge like obviously i think that they would turn on me first in the alliance and i think that if i were to stick with amanda and harry that i could probably convince amanda to turn on harry first i don't know i just feel like i could almost like be the leader in that little group as opposed to like I think Alexis like brought us all together and what is it the quad squad, quad squad. <laughs> yeah Alexis brought the the quad squad together so I feel like she's kind of the leader of that all right Rotaire welcome to the first tribal council this is the start of seeing you torch as you know in this game fire represents your life once your fire is gone so are you and now this is going to tonight so you guys won the first challenge before losing the second one. How different were the dynamics and talks that happened in these two situations? Let's go with Jimmy. Uh, well, in the first one, the talks were mainly about getting food. And then in the <laughs> second one, the talks were a little less about getting food. Because there were actually things to, like, uh, actually things to talk about. I mean, the first, the first uh, challenge we had went really well. So there was, it was, at least for the people that I walked back with, it didn't seem like anyone was like, let's start having strategy discussions right now after we won. Uh, most likely because people don't want to rock the boat uh, yeah. after having a good challenge. Harry, you're not in your head, you hear that? Yeah, it was fine. It was just really like, hmm, I wonder who they're going to vote off. Maybe Lewis, like we joked about that first hour. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> and they ended up being that. It, it was more like a bonding thing Yeah. yeah. the first one. What about the second one? What was, Madison, what was the difference between talking at the first one and what about the second one was Uh I definitely think it was more like tense because like nobody really knew what they were going to do. Cause obviously our plan was just to just win until the merge, <laughs> <laughs> but obviously we didn't do that. So yeah, there was definitely some tension. Mm -hmm. Alexis, did you feel this tension that Madison was talking about? Uh, yeah, I think I mostly felt tension in terms of, I don't think anyone really wanted to take the lead. No one really wanted to initiate the conversation. It was this awkward, like, the first challenge went so well that we didn't really have to deal with it. And then approaching the end of the second challenge, none of us really knew where to start. Like, do we have to start talking strategy? How fast do we, you know, the timetables move really quickly? So I think everyone was, the tension was a lot of, like, how do we start this? The game definitely started this time. Mm -hmm. So going back to the challenge, Amanda, did you feel that there was a leader during the, during the challenge or even after the challenge there was a leader of this tribe? I don't think there is a leader. I think everyone like, is evil. Like, the only problem we had during the challenge was that everyone wanted to comment. <laughs> no one commented. Like, we were so confused with the puzzle and trying to figure out what the other tribe was doing. We weren't really like properly focusing in and communicating. I think that was the only issue, but I don't think there's a leader right now. So, Joe, do you agree with that there's no leader and that the reason you lost last challenge was because no one was commenting like him and that's it? Uh, well, it's kind of hard well, for me. Well, okay, I'll ask you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Got it, that's right. So, Shane, uh, do, you, do, you agree, do you agree with Amanda that, that uh, the reason that you lost was because no one was commenting on the puzzle? Yeah, I mean, like, I think we did a really good job of getting to the puzzle. Like, I think Jimmy did a really good job of picking out this shit initiative at first to, like, say, I'm, I'll call. And he, he did the dictated really well, got us to that point. And I think we just kind of, like, we got nervous that they were right behind us. And, like, I think, this, I think this our nerves got to us. So it's still very early in the game, and you guys just met each other a few days ago. Uh, Josie, how do you make a how do you make a decision based on the past, just knowing these people for about a week? Um, it's pretty hard, especially because I wasn't at the most recent challenge, um, and that's like why I was like I'm nervous about this one, just because I'm like, oh man, I wasn't there. Like I naturally have FOMO, so like you know the fear of missing out. Like I don't want to miss the challenge. Like I am here for our tribe. Like I'm ready. So. I guess, like, I just base it off of, like, the first challenge and, like, I guess, like, the, like, all the conversations I've had, like, thus far and stuff, so, yeah. <laughs> Madison, what do you think you're going on tonight? 
Dude, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't made a decision, and I'm probably not going to make one until I'm walking over there. June, is that worrying that it's not like Madison still hasn't decided where they're voting for yet? I mean, yeah, I'm kind of hoping that the fact that I didn't, like, drop the ball and send somebody, like, into the bushes keeps me safe. <laughs> I had to dig through mud because of you. <laughs> yeah, well, now well, I know how Madison's voting. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I mean, it's it's worrying no matter how safe you think you are or aren't. I mean, you never know what people are going to do, and especially if you, like, you know, see Survivor, you know blind sides are a thing, and they're more and more of a thing the more seasons go on so like you never know if people here are taking inspiration from that so Alexis do you think there are a lot of talks that were happening uh since the end of the challenge and now I mean I'd imagine I think most of us were really stressed uh, we didn't know what we were doing and it was something we really had to figure out and I think because we don't spend all our time with each other and I don't know these people very well from early on none of us uh, like we've only had about a week I think a lot of conversations probably happened because we had a lot to figure out in a very short short amount of time so I could see lots of conversations happening because of that. Mm -hmm. So Shane what's your opinion on the that type of time either as a whole or an individual people? I think they're really like well like diverse and they're, they're like they're very strong uh, I think they're going to be really difficult to continue to be in challenges, but I think we're really strong too. I just, uh, you know, they have a couple guys that are definitely really athletic, um, but uh, uh, I think like as a whole, like we can definitely compete with them. We just have to like believe in ourselves. Uh, have that whole kind of trust in each other. Hey, are you doing a shame that uh, that as that goes to a competition you heard you guys? I mean, if we can get a good enough start on them, we can probably beat them. I mean, we had the ability to beat them. We beat them in the first challenge. And so, I'm not that worried. It's, we can do it. We just gotta show up and do it. And with that, let's talk about doing your first. Sorry. <laughs> That's how the cookie crumbles. individual game, but looking for a hidden immunity to idol during the first challenge, was it really worth it? This is for the greater good of the tribe. I'm voting for you, I'm sorry, you've been so nice. I didn't come up with a sassy comment, so hi, mom. All right, I will get the votes. If anybody has a hidden immunity idol and want to play it, now is the time to do so. Okay, once the votes are read, the decision is final. Press the voter out. We ask to the travel council area immediately. I'll read the votes. First vote, Amanda. Alexis. One vote on Amanda, one vote on Alexis. Amanda. It's two votes, Amanda. One vote on Alexis. Amanda. Three votes to Amanda. One vote on Alexis, three votes left. Second person voted out of Star Seeing you main void, Amanda. Manny, you remember the torch. I Amanda, child smoking. It's time for to go. Well, it was a unanimous vote. It seems like you guys have, have, might have some tribal immunity, but we'll see if there's a next vote. We'll see if it stays unanimous. That's all I got for you. Head out. Next time on Survivor, John's absence from the challenge could threaten his game. John, if you're listening, you're getting voted off.
Relationships across tribes could result in complications for the quad squad. We're staying together, that's just what I told you. And Georgia goes off on her tribe. Which is frustrating, so I'm a little, I'm a little irritated. I had a feeling that was actually gonna happen. I knew my plan wasn't gonna work, but it's all good. I appreciate them. And I knew I was the weakest link. 